Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. Today, let's learn how to make some Stony Clover dupe letters. This is gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be a print and cut file and we're gonna be able to use it for sublimation or printing cut or anything, but these actual letters cost a small fortune. And I have now figured out a way to make them yourself for a lot cheaper. So let's get started. This is gonna be fairly simple. If you're a beginner in Cricut Design Space, you're gonna be able to figure this out very quickly. So I have already done one before with the word stuff, but today we are going to do the word mama because I want to put it on a tumbler. So I'm going to drag this down to the bottom and then we are just going to put in the word mama. So here's your text box right here and in your caps locks, put M-A-M-A. -A. You can do any word. You don't have to do mama for this one, but I'm going to do mama since that's what's going on my tumbler. Then in the drop down box right here, you want to go over to the right into a system and I am going to be using if I spelt it correctly, it's called Varsity, Varsity Team. I will link the actual text of this in the description of this video. So if you don't already have this downloaded into your computer, then you can just click the link and download it onto your system and then it will pop up for you. So we have this letter right here. I'm just gonna make it big just so we can see it. And I am gonna readjust the sizing. Now Cricut has keyboard shortcuts so we don't have to do all these uh, mouse clicks. So if you do Command Shift in G, it is going to ungroup all all of your letters. I've been waiting for this day to happen. Okay, and I'm just going to press shift and then my mouse or my trackpad and I'm gonna drag them just a little bit closer. All right, selecting all of this, we are going to do an offset and then let this bar right here load up your offset and this is going to be too thick. We don't want that thick of an offset. So we're gonna do like one, one, and then also go over here and unclick this weld offsets. We don't want it welded together. I like the thickness of this for the borders. Before you press apply over here and go over into your corners and we wanna make them squared. We don't want rounded corners for this project. And then press apply. Okay, now we want to re-space these out, selecting and re-spacing them out, just like the offsets are barely touching and you want a little bit of gap, that's what you're looking for right here. So each letter is going to be its own individual shape. Now what you wanna do is go back in and select that M-A-M-A -A again, and we're gonna change this to a different color just so it'll be easier to see. Click your M-A-M-A, -A -A, now that's in gray. Go back into your offset again, and instead of making it an offset, we're gonna make it an inset. So we're gonna take this little dot and we're gonna drag it in. It will be hard to see, but eventually, oop, we'll stop right there. Do you see that light blue line right here? That is called an inset. Okay, I like the look of that. Make sure this is unchecked as weld offsets and your corners are gonna be square and not round. When you're done doing that, press apply. Oh, that M looks very weird. Okay, go back. We're gonna delete that. We don't like that. We're gonna go back in here and we are gonna do another offset and let's not have it to be. Hmm, there must be some sort of cricket glitch because do you see how that is like making it squared? But when I do the rounded edges, that there, there has to be a glitch in there. That's so annoying. Okay, why don't we make it 0 0.05? See if that gets any better. It does not. All right, because the weird glitch that we have going on is what it is, we're just gonna make it some rounded edges and then press apply. Not not wonderful, not exactly the feel that I'm going for, but it will work. And we're just gonna change this over into a different color. So now you have three layers. You have the very black, back black, and then the middle gray, and then the pink front version. Okay, in this actual Stony Clover letters, you have three different layers, a glitter. They generally have like a felt and then like a chenille. If you go over into your Safari, I'll have all of these linked in the description of this video. So all you have to do is click on the link and the picture will pop up and then you can follow these steps. If you wanted to look for your own, all you need to do is put in like your white glitter background or for this one right here, I did like light pink felt background. So whatever you're looking for, just put that in there and then put the word background in it. But like I said, this will be linked in the description of this video. So all you have to do is click on the link. This picture will pop up and then you can move forward. You don't have to do the searching. I've already done that for you. Okay, so let's work on the very back portion right now, which is gonna be our gold glitter. All you wanna do is do Command Shift 4 on your keyboard if you are using a Mac that's taking a screenshot. And I'm just gonna drag a box 
around the gold glitter. Okay, there it is right here. Click back over into design space and we can do upload and then upload image and put this in there. Do complex and press continue. Then you want to apply and continue. We don't need to do any type of editing. Do a print and cut image. And then we wanna change this to glitter background and press upload. All right, so when that is done, just click on your upload for your glitter background and press add to canvas. And here it is, large and in charge. We're just gonna send this to the back. And now with that mama, that black, that's the one we're working on, select that entire offset, doing shift and then clicking on your track mouse. And we want to right click and press weld. That is welding it all together. When you make this super big, your sparkles become larger. If you make it really small, your sparkles are gonna become smaller. So just determine whatever size sparkle that you would like. I kind of like it the way it is. And then we're going to select that background and also our black mama. And we're going to right click and press slice. Delete this black and then delete this big old extra. And that is what you're left with is like the back portion of your mama. If you like the way this looks, send it to the back and we can move on to the next one. Okay. So now for the pink felt background, going back into Safari, we're going to click that pink fabric. Same thing as before. We're going to screenshot, make a box. There it is. We're going to go into upload, upload image, drag in our pink felt, complex, continue, continue again because we have no edits. Click print, then cut image. And I'm going to change this to pink felt and press upload. Clicking that pink felt again, I'm going to add to canvas. Same thing as before is we're just gonna make this large. This right here, it doesn't matter really what size you make it, it's all gonna be the same type of felt, but you want to make sure that it is larger than the actual gray that you have for mama. So we're gonna make that just bigger than the gray and then press arrange and send it to the back. And then you want to click all of the gray, right click and press weld again. It's gonna bring it up to the front and we're gonna press that gray weld. We're gonna press shift and then the felt, right click and press slice. So we're going to delete that gray, delete that big felt. And that is what our felt letters look like. So stinking cute. I love the way this is turning out. Okay. Instead of doing this and sending it to the back, what I'm going to do is just click that pink mama that's left over. And then we can press the weld button down here at the bottom. It's going to bring it up to the front. And now we need to work on that pink chenille. So I'm going to click back into Safari, go into the pink chenille. And here is the pink chenille that I've already found doing another screenshot. And I am not going to screenshot this right here. So I'm going to create a box here at the bottom. I'm going to make sure and I avoid that watermark. You don't want a watermark in your in your letters, your unfinished letters. So there it is right here, pressing upload and doing the same thing we've done two times prior. There it is right here. We're going to click that and then press add to canvas. Same thing with the glitter. The smaller it is, the smaller the chenille, the larger it is, the larger the chenille. So I'm just gonna make this just a little bit bigger than the actual word mama. Pressing shift on your keyboard and then that welded pink mama that you have, right click on it on the image and press slice. Delete this big old thing and then delete that pink mama. And this is what you're left with. A almost perfect dupe of stony clover. I love it. Alrighty. So here is the finished letters. If you wanted to go ahead and print and cut this, you could be done. I am going to turn this into a sublimation Tumblr link. So I'm going to scoot this over to the bottom and I'm going to do command G, which is group. Then I want to insert a shape and just a square. And then I am going to unlock and I'm going to put width at 11 and my height at eight and a half. I'm going to do an eight and a half by 11 sheet of sublimation blank. I'm going to arrange this to the back and then going back over into Safari, I have that silver texture glitter background. I am going to command shift for another screenshot. Okay. This time we're going to go into upload, but instead of going into image, we are going to go to the right to pattern fill and then upload pattern. I'm going to drag my silver background that I just screenshotted and I'm going to drop it in there. I'm going to change this to silver background and then press upload. It says upload successfully. Exit out. We're going to click on the charcoal gray box that we've made. We're going to do operation, go to print and cut, click this color, and then under the print type color, 
color, we'll do pattern. And our uploaded pattern should be there. Okay, here is a white that I've uploaded. Ooh, I love that. That is so pretty. And then all I'm gonna do is just make this a little bit smaller. So the eight and a half by 11 is going to be the size of my tumbler that I'm using. And I am just going to make this a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna select both of these and press center. So it's completely centered inside of my white glitter space that I have. Okay, to get this outside of design space, because you cannot print and cut a full sheet of letter size paper, all you wanna do is now take another screenshot and then we're gonna draw a box around our Tumblr rank and we're just gonna do that. I always like to then open up a pages or Word document. I'm sure all computers have a word processor and I like to now take my sublimation blank templates and I put it into a word processor and then I drag over my screenshot that I took into my word processor. I'm gonna rotate this over 90 degrees and I make it as big as it will let me for a letter size sheet and make sure that this is completely centered, which it is. Okay, now I'm gonna print this and I'm gonna send this to my sublimation printer. When you do a sublimation print, you always go into your media clock quality and you want to set it to the best possible print settings. So photo matte paper is what I always click and then go into layout and you want to flip it horizontally. And then when you're done, just press print and then your sublimation is going to print and then we'll go to the Tumblr press and we'll press this thing. Okay, so the rest of this project should be fairly simple. All you need is your sublimation print and then a basic white sublimation tumbler. I'm using ones from Craft Express. The coolest thing about Craft Express is they have all their press settings and how much on their actual blanks. So I already have my Craft Express Tumblr press set to 360 for 50 seconds. That's what's right here, 360 for six, for 50 seconds. Now, prepping for this is going to be fairly simple. If you chose a white glitter background, but you're also using a white tumbler, there really isn't too much to prep. All you're gonna need is some heat resistant tape and a glove for later, but you just want to put this in the center of your mama. And then you wanna wrap up and then wrap down. And when you roll it up, if you can see there's like a little bit of excess right here, that means it's not put on straight. So all you wanna do is just maneuver the print around to where it is completely lined up straight. There we go. And so there's going to be no excess right here or right here. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a little bit of the excess off. So do it like this, I'm just gonna cut a little bit. You don't need a whole lot of excess. This is just making sure you don't have anything, any print bleed off the top of it. Now, the other thing that I've learned too while doing sublimation on Tumblr is you wanna take some heat resistant tape and we're gonna go on the back side of our print where the overlap is going to go. That will go like bleed through your Tumblr and you do not want that. So we're just gonna take some tape we're gonna go over the seam. Trim off the excess tape if you have any. Taking your tumbler again, and we're gonna line it up in the middle, rolling up, taking that top, and we're gonna roll. See how there is a little bit left over and hanging? We want to move that to where it's all straight. Okay, and now what you wanna do is you wanna take some tape and you wanna put it on your, put it on tight, and you want to now tape in your seam. That's right here. I'm gonna take my little brayer and I'm just going to really push down the tape so there's no seam. So I'm just gonna slide it in here with the tape on the side and I'm gonna hold it and press. Okay, when it's done, just open it back up and we wanna flip this 45 degrees where the top is now on the side and getting pressed and then we wanna shut this again. Pop that open and I'm gonna use my hand that has my heat resistant glove and I'm just going to pull it out. But then I always like to use a X-Acto knife and just cut the tape off. Alrighty, and are you ready? The tumbler is still very hot, but there we go, look at that. Oh my goodness gracious, there is our Stony Clover dupe tumbler. Oh my gosh, I love the look, it's still very hot. All right, y'all, I sure hope I inspired you to make and I will see you later.